Thanks for coming over. This is Amadeus. Today's Dungeon Hunter Champion video is about Obelisk, the Dark Dragon Guard. Now, the Dark Dragon Guards are great as a rule, with Obelisk, the Dark Dragon Guard, being one of my favorite mid to late game champions. The reason I like him so much has everything to do with this kit. So let's break him down. Obelisk's auto attack, Dragon's Favor, is common to all the Dragon Guards. The amazing part of Dragon's Favor is that it comes with a passive that applies the Undying buff to any ally whose health drops below 30%. So if you're taking a beating in Ascended Raids, and seriously, who isn't, then this basic auto attack passive can give you breathing room you need to survive every 45 seconds. And if preventing you from wiping automatically wasn't enough for you to build the Dark Dragon Guard, then how about his first activated skill, Demoralizing Blow? This arc style AOE attack also applies lowers attack debuff. Now, this particular skill can potentially be used every three seconds. So for me, the lowering attack debuff was crucial for breaking into the ascended content consistently. And for a lot of mid game players, this is, I really think this is what's preventing them from having consistent teams. Now, back to Obelisk the Dark Dragon Guard. Right now we're talking about a unit that combines death avoidance mechanics as a passive while lowering attack damage with his first skill. But maybe that's not enough to 6 star him. In that case, let's look at his second skill, Concussion Slam. This is a jump attack that applies an AoE, lowers attack speed debuff on landing. So this makes him perfect for waves, blitz, and raids. But is he worth it yet? Well, let's look at what he has to offer so far. Death avoidance mechanics is a passive, AoE lowers attack on his first skill, AoE lowers speed on his second skill, oh and he jumps to avoid obstacles, rushes, and crowd control, and it's all potentially available every three seconds. Wait, there's more, I almost forgot. His final skill, Megaton Stomp, is an AoE stun that lasts longer based on each debuff on the enemy. So now you're probably wondering, whoa, what's the drawback? Well, to be fair, Synergy Trade is awful. It's a 25% debuff for Dark Champs. Or rather, 25% defense buff for Dark Champs. But you know what? I'll give him a pass, because as I failed to mention earlier, all of his skills scale on defense. And while the Dragon Guard's damage got nerfed in Update 3, he was never going to be your go-to DPS in the Ascended content anyway, but he has some of the most well thought out, clearly defined skills and synergies in this game when it comes to how to build him. So let's get all of his skills up as quickly as possible. That's adept. Let's apply a bunch of debuffs and have our skills be impacted by the length of those debuffs. That's all about precise. So if you can build him with substats of accuracy to get him up to that 60, 70% mark, my suggestion to you, and we'll see mine in a second, is to actually not put him on precise, but to put him on sturdy. So you can boost that defense even more. But that might require some higher end gear than we have available. But what we're gonna do before we break down the gears, we're gonna throw them out into Elder Drake 12. And you can skip to the end to see the gear, but it's important for me to show what he can do in Elder Drake 12 or some of these other ascended dungeons based on how highly I'm talking about him. So I wanna show you my consistent damage over or ongoing damage team i know not not update four approved but my ongoing damage uh ed 12 team uh, that i'm building for update four and this team even though they don't have the debuffs right now isn't fast it's not going to do anything pre-flight but it hasn't died yet and the reason it hasn't died is really because of obelisks passive as well as all of those debuffs i was talking about so let's watch them in action
okay, so let's let's break down his gear for a second. Now he's got about forty thousand HP. He's got about uh, eighteen hundred defense. We want to get that up to about two thousand plus defense. And what you're going to see here is that we have a lot of accuracy, HP, defense, resistance as our substats. And I was very fortunate with this particular bracer to get such a high roll on accuracy. So we just moved him off of precise. So still a work in progress. But ultimately, if you want to get his skills up every three seconds, you got to have him on adept. And if you want him to land his debuffs, he's got to have some decent accuracy. I think 60 might be a little too low, but I've had such phenomenal luck with him in Ascended. I'm a little iffy on changing him. But I'd love to hear what you guys are doing. As always, thank you and have a great day. Bye.